everyone this is Betty with Betty Stampin Crazy and I have my paper pumpkin here that I just got in let me show you the picture Aren't these cute they're test tubes this is what you get there's they're plastic so they're not gonna hurt anything um, they come just like this you get the tops and the bottoms and then of course you're gonna get all the little pieces that it shows here this is, um, you're going to get uh, glue dots that come with it. And these are little peel off tags. I'll show you how these work. They peel off and they stick on the tube. And we'll do that in a second. And you're going to get the uh, black, and I believe that's supposed to be rich razzleberry. And then you're going to get more like your fall colors, like your, um, I couldn't, I think that's either soft suede or crumb cake. I don't think it's crumb cake. Um, this one may be crushed curry, the colors in it. You're going to get three sheets of these and then you're going to get your little tags. I love these tags. They're so cute. You're going to get one sheet that has the bubbling cauldrons which has got the, uh, I think this is old olive, and a little cat. And then you're going to get a sheet that has the pumpkins and the sunflowers. And these just pop out, just like this, just simple as can be. And then you're going to get one that is blank, but it has the outline. And this is gold, and this is black. Um, you're also going to get some string, which I used a little bit of the string. I didn't use very much. I just wanted to get some made. Uh, and then you're going to get your stamp set that comes with it. And also your little uh, stamping spot, which is Old Olive, comes with this one this time. Uh, this one says, something good to eat. And then you have a Happy Halloween, or no, Happy Hello to You. And then this one says, no tricks, just treats. I like that one. It's cute. And this one says, Happy Halloween to You. And then it has a uh, pumpkin, solid pumpkin, and then a little face down here. I'm not sure what this is. This is the pumpkin stem. I'm also not sure what that is. This is the, the sunflower. That because uh, on this one you got I didn't show you this. You got a sunflower on this uh, tag here. So I want to get started. I did use some different uh, colors and some different things with mine. Um, like on let's see. Oh, I didn't tell you. Of course, you always get your instructions inside, and these are extremely simple. So, we're going to take, let me show you some of these. These are the ones that I used the tags on, but I did use the enamel dots from the holiday catalog that are for the um, Halloween, and they come in the, um, I think this is Rich Razzleberry, I'm not sure. I'd have to look at the book again. I will put it up on the screen. Old Olive and Pumpkin Pie. So, and you get two sheets of these. But that doesn't come with your paper pumpkin. That's in the holiday catalog. Okay, this one, um, I did put the enamel dots on it, and I put the purple and black on it. And I have three of your little bitty Tootsie Rolls. These things are really small. They're not but about maybe an inch and I put three of those in there. That, that fits three. Now on these, I found this at uh, Party City. As a matter of fact, I found all my candy that I'm using today on, at Party City. And you can get these little candies like 15 for a dollar. And I, lo <laughs> I love this color right here. I thought, okay, that goes with our old olive. And it's the Sour Patch, uh, kind of like a gummy, I guess. I'm not sure exactly what they call them, but they're Sour Patch. And I thought that goes with the bubbling cauldron. So I made one of those and I just stuffed that down in there. And these these um, these little tags right here just stick right on there just like that if you can see it. And then I have the pumpkin and I had the orange ones. And these are sixlets. They're gluten-free and nut-free. And like I said, all of these candies I got 15 for a dollar. And I think I got $30 or 
let's see, 30 of them, so that was $2. Um, I used the pumpkin one, and I did use the string on this one, and what I did was I just brought it around like this, and I used my uh, 16th of an inch hole punch, and I punched a hole in there, and what I did was I brought the string up through the hole and then tied a, a bow. And of course, I used the little candy, I mean the enamel dots. On this one, I did use the fall colors here. To me, those are fall colors. And the, like I said, these are little orange sixlets. These are the purple. And I just used the Happy Halloween to You with the purple and black. On this, these two, I did go a little bit different because I used my um, primlets. Where did they go? Here they are. Edgelets. The Halloween scene edgelets. And I did use my witch. I just thought that would, was, I wanted to use that on one of them at least. Now on this one, I used, for the spider, I used the Spooky Fun stamp set. And I have moved it. Here it is. The Spooky Fun stamp set. And I used the spider off of it and the eek up at the top. I thought that was really cute. You know, most people say eek when they see a, a spider. So, anyway, let's go ahead and make a couple of these. Let me move these out of the way. Don't want to mess them up. And I'm going to just put them right up here. And I think I'm going to do one with the Sour Patch. Let me get this out of the way. And I'm going to go ahead this time and use... I know these are fall colors, but I want to go ahead and use one. To me, they are anyway. I guess you could use them for Halloween. And you just stick that going straight up and down, and then you just push it down to where it goes around the curve. Okay, which one do we want to use on this one? We are going to use... I just want a, a happy hello to you since it's not really Halloween. And I'm going to use the... Um, gold. I could use the flower, I guess. Yeah, let's just use the flowers because it's already got the deal at the top. And I'm going to bring in my stamping mat here. Pierce mat. Let me move this stuff out of the way. And instead of using my stamping spot, I always use my big ones. And I save my stamping spots. So I'm just going to use this, and that one's Happy Halloween. Let's get a happy hello to you, and I'm going to use my, hmm, what color should I use? I'll just go ahead and use the old olive, because that can be a fall color too, can it? Okay. And let's just go ahead and stamp that down. And then I'm going to put glue dots on this. Let me get my little piercer here. Um, these do come with it, of course. And I just put one at the top and one at the bottom. Pull these off. Okay. And I'm just going to stick this on here. This is how simple these are to do. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw this in there. And you kind of have to work these. This has got a bigger um, packaging than the other ones. The other ones kind of fit down in there. And then all you do is just, there you go. And, and, of course, you can decorate it up just a little bit more if you want to. You know, like I did some of these. You can put, like I can put these old olive dots on there if I want to. I may just do that. Let's go ahead and put a couple on there. I should have put these on there before, but I didn't. It's easier to put them on there before I figured out. Okay, I'm just going to put a couple on there. There we go. See? 
That brings it a little bit more. That's the first sunflower I've used. Okay, and also I think I got these. These are black. Aren't these neat? I'm going to go ahead and stick some of those in there. And I will go back with the... Okay, what did I do with it? There it is. I'm going to go ahead and go back with these. The Rich Raspberry in Black. And like I said, you just kind of use your finger to kind of smooth it down. They stick down. And I'm going to use... Let's see, the black cat, I think. And I had one already off here. What did I do with it? Oh, I lost my black cat. I'll just get another one. He'll be around here somewhere. Okay. And what should we put on him? Uh, happy Halloween to you. Yeah, because I lost my stamp set. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and use it. And I'm going to do this in... Um, Rich Razzleberry. Because I used the Elegant Eggplant a while ago, and to me that's just a little bit dark. It looks too black. So I want Rich Razzleberry. You know what? I think that's, I, I think that's a little bit different color. What color is that? I'll have to look at my colors to see what that is. And I'm going to put this on here. Yeah, it's a little bit different. And to show you how I did the, t the string, I took this and I went straight up in here and I got it just as close to the top as I could. That's a little off, but it'll do. And then I took my string. I got me some out. Let's go ahead and get enough where we can tie a bow. And then I pushed it through. The little hole just kind of worked it through. Of course, it's going to be harder to do now that I'm on camera. Okay. And, okay, where's my... Here they are. Tweezers. I took the tweezers from the back. And I didn't pull it all the way through. Just enough to where I can get it around here. So, let's go ahead and do that. And then I'll pull it back through. And I'm just going to tie a knot first. Actually, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and tie a knot first. And I'm doing this backwards, if you notice. I'm a backwards person, what can I say? Okay, let's tie another knot. Or another... And then, I'm going to turn it upside down. Stay on here. And I'm going to tie my bow... I'm fumbly fingers all the time. Okay. That worked out. And I'm going to turn it back. And I'm going to pull this back through. Pull this back through. Okay. And I'm going to cut it. Where's my scissors? Put them back in the bowl. Okay, then I put glue dots on this. Let me move that. And I just did it the same way. I put them at the top and at the bottom. This is going to be kind of hard to do. Not really. Just get it right there and get the top off. And pull this one off. And then just bring it back down to where you want it, kind of right in the middle. And then just put it down. Isn't that cute? I love these little test tubes. And they're going to be so cute for Halloween. This was the um, September paper pumpkin. 
and if you'll remember we had a sale going on or a special going on BOGO special to where you can pay for your first month and get the second month free and that's only until October 10th that you can sign up so if you sign up for the paper pumpkin now but from now between between I'm sorry between now and October 10th you will get the October paper pumpkin which I don't know what they are you'll get it or you'll pay for it and then you'll get your November free and I will have a link down in the bottom in the description in the bottom for the paper pumpkin and also um, link to go to my uh, blog and my online store so I will have three links down below but um, anyway I just thought these were really cute I just love these little things and I, I'm not I, it, it fit in well with my little theme because I was doing all treats for Halloween treat boxes and stuff like that so this is perfect anyway this is Betty with Betty Stampin Crazy and I hope you have a beautiful Halloween I'll be back with you with some more treats too thank you